So we're just talking about railroads and the founding of this part of San Diego. Not a lot initially um, because of all the problems, lack of water. So mostly just uh, open range cattle activities until these guys discovered uh, drilled water and found water and uh, pretty cool. So uh, when they found water um, in the 1880s to think about uh, farming, turns out it actually had, it, it was at the time, it was this guy found it, at the time it was called Fraser Station. Uh, he found that it matched the mineral qualities of a lot of these uh, of this place in uh, Czechoslovakia called Carlsbad. So they renamed the town Carlsbad and, uh, and started selling the water. And so here you can see the train station. Um, that actually talks about mineral waters. People would initially get off the train, go to the hotel, take a sample of this water, and and uh, take a break. Uh, the uh, the next major development is um, uh, when Lincoln is elected, and um, we're trying to figure out how we're going to do the transcontinental railroad, have a spike down to San Diego. We're also talking about having a, a line that go, went, went up to Los Angeles, and the problem was there's all these ra ranchos. And multiple ownerships and so the thought was that it would be hard to get the rights right-of-way to go through but here along Oceanside um, th this whole section of the San Diego coast there was only two two um, private landowners that they needed to get because again there was no water so there weren't that many settlements uh, large settlements here so that's why the, the railroad line went through and that's why we have the, the, the current uh, shape of the coast with PCH and coastal access and everybody right along the coast. Um, after a while, people move in, agriculture diversifies, eventually going into avocados and then into um, a lot of flowers. And so that's how we got the modern, modern town, the modern segregated area here on the coast through all these coastal lagoons in northern San Diego County.